everyone! Welcome back to an Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie and today I am taking a look at My Shelfie by Curio Creations and Lucky Duck Games. My Shelfie is a board game for two to four players ages eight, eight and up. It takes about 25 minutes to play and in My Shelfie you have a brand new bookshelf and a bunch of things in your living room that you are trying to put into your bookshelf and organize in a pleasing way. And you'll be competing against the other players in the game to create the most pleasing bookshelf. In the game, you will get four of these plastic bookshelf pieces. You give one to each player as, long, as well as the little standee, which will have a random personal goals card go into that that only the player can see. In the center, you'll place the living room board, which will have the player token uh, for the first player who finishes their bookshelf. And on the board, you'll also place, taking from the bag of tiles, randomly all of the different tiles. And you have frames, games, bookshelves, cats, plants, and trophies to choose from. You'll place tiles on all of the blank spaces for two player. For three player, you'll add in the spaces that have three dots and for four player you'll add in the three dots and the four dot spaces to create a board full of different pieces you'll be choosing from in the game. In addition to the secret objective cards you'll lay out some open objective cards and based on the number of players place the scoring tokens on those cards. Then you're ready to give the first chair, living room chair, to the first player and start the game. There are three ways to score points in my shelfie. There's your personal objective card, the open objective cards, and the group adjacency bonuses. So on your personal objective card, you'll have listed out where you need to place certain tile types on your shelf. The more tile type you uh, get correctly, the more points you'll score cumulatively at the end of the game. Secondly, the open objectives. At the end of your turn, you'll check and see if you met any of these open objectives, which will change from game to game. And if you do, you'll take the top tile uh, from that card and that score will be added as well at the end of the game. Lastly, the adjacency bonuses, which are listed on the game board for every group of three or more tiles of the same type that are adjacent to each other, you'll score that many points for each group at the end of the game. And then finally, one little bonus point for the player who first fills up their shelfie, they will get a bonus, one additional point. Starting with the first player, each player will look at the board and take either between one to three tiles that are in a straight line with each tile having an open edge along the outside of the board. So there are a few options here. You can take two tiles here, one tile here, even one tile here because it has one open edge. And Michael being the first player will go ahead and take uh, tiles of his choosing. There we go and place them into one column of the shelfie in any order, thereby tending to get his secret objectives as well as other objectives uh, in addition. Now you can see there's actually now a chance for me to take three tiles in a row here since they all now have open edges. This one didn't before, so I'll go ahead and do that and place them in one of my columns here. Play will continue if at the end of any turn there are four or less tiles on the, the living room board, then you will reach into the bag, refill the rest of the spots with uh, random tiles. And then play will continue as well until someone has filled up their shelfie board. They will take the last player marker and play will continue just until that next player's turn. Then you will calculate your score and the person with the highest score wins. My Shelfie is a short, abstract, visual puzzle type game. Great for two to four players. So I love these types of games because I like trying to puzzle and figure out how can I not only get this objective, but layer in multiple objectives to get the highest score possible. So players who enjoy those types of games and matching different types of tile types, 
similar to uh, Moonshell, the game that I created where you're creating different patterns of seashells based on color and shape in a treasure chest board. So if you enjoyed Moonshell, you'll really enjoy my shelfie that has similar spatial puzzle building aspects to it. I also love that at the end of the game, you have this uh, shelf of all of your favorite things. It's something that you've created, which is always fun in a game. And you can compare it with not only the other players, but also beating your personal score from previous games. That makes it fun to play over and over again. The replayability is great in this game because of the different ways, uh, objective scoring as well as personal scoring. And just trying to continually uh, beat your score is fun. The artwork is cute. I think uh, our player our our player group really enjoyed the fact that cats <laughs> were included as a favorite item to add to your shelfie. And seeing the different um, some of the different artwork of the cats was fun. There are different artwork on the different tiles, even of the same type, which is nice. So it doesn't feel too repetitive on your board. Uh, the uh, the quality of the components is great. So we have this plastic piece, which actually worked really well, unless you accidentally put a piece in upside down and now you have to try to get that one piece out. It can be a little bit challenging um, because aesthetically you want to put it right side up. So you got to remember to do that. But other than that, really great, nice pieces, nice bag to pull from. And even a little chair was kind of a cute addition that thematically works with being in the living room, having all your stuff out, trying to organize your bookshelves. I think especially any board gamers who collect a lot of board games will uh, understand that that process and that feeling really well. So great job for my shelfie. Overall, I recommend this game as a casual, puzzly type game for players of, of all ages and families especially. Um, maybe it'll get uh, some families excited to, to organize and help out when cleaning, <laughs> when inevitably, inevitably you need to clean up your living room and organize your bookshelves. <laughs> You can pick up my shelfie. Link will be down in the description below. Definitely check it out if you're interested, especially if you like my game, Moonshell. I think you'll enjoy this one. In addition, you can check out unfilteredgamer.com for more blog reviews, giveaways, all that kind of fun stuff. And we play games just like this one live on the stream, Sundays at 6.30 p.m. Pacific on YouTube, Twitch, and sometimes Facebook, and I'd love to see you there. Root me on as I, I hopefully destroy everyone else in board games. That's the goal anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to building a shelfie with you next time.